Good afternoon, Clipper Guy here. I'm Ivan Zoot. It is the middle of November 2012, and in movie theaters, the hottest thing going on is Skyfall, 007, featuring Daniel Craig in the James Bond role. Ryan has agreed to donate some hair for your educational benefit, and in a couple of quick and easy steps, we're going to show you how to create the James Bond Daniel Craig Skyfall 007 haircut that is the haircut guys are going to be coming into your shop and asking for through this holiday season and through this winter. Thanks for watching. Check out the technical, enjoy the video, and have a great day. All right, the 007 Skyfall haircut, the basic steps. We're going to taper in the back and sides, and we're going to layer the top. We're going to use a snap-on attachment guide or guard to get the perimeter length down, and then we're going to use a clipper over comb underhand technique because we're going to be working up over the crest line to layer and blend the top up and in. We'll line and edge the haircut with a nice crisp perimeter because if you've seen the movie, a Tom Ford suit, an Omega watch, an, an Aston Martin car, James Bond is all about the details, and this haircut will be all about really getting that precision and that detail down right. Ready? Here we go. Step number one in the James Bond Daniel Craig Skyfall haircut is cutting in the perimeter. We're going to use a number two snap-on attachment guide or guard on our adjustable blade clipper with the lever all the way up. Two-handed. Always have a finger on your guard. We call that guard your guard. Notice I'm going to come in, I'm going to rock, and I'm going to rock, and I'm going to rock. Toe to heel cutting. I come in on the toe and I get out onto the heel. I come in on the toe and I get out onto the heel to taper the, through the perimeter. That's my number two guard. Down through the bottom, I'll go over it later with a one, but initially I take in the perimeter with a number two snap-on attachment guide or guard. Rocking, 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 getting a progressive increase up into the interior hair. That's step number one, cut in the perimeter with a number two snap-on attachment guide or guard. Here we go, it's time for step number two. In step number one, we used a number two guard to cut in the perimeter around the haircut. In step number two, we go down to the number one guard. We start long, we go to short. With a one guard in place now, I'm going to use my scalp scooting technique. Scalp scooting is the technique where I use my thumb to pull up that tension on the skin. And we're coming around now, and we're tightening up. Chin down for me just a little bit. We're tightening up the perimeter. Notice I'm still using my rocking motion. I'm still rocking it out, rocking it out, rocking it out, rocking it out. And I'm staying low. I'm not going to go as high as I did with my number two, but I'm tightening up the perimeter of the haircut. Notice two hands, one hand on the clipper and one hand on the client to maintain control of the tool and control of my cutting. But I'm using my number one to get a nice, clean, tightly defined perimeter. He's got some strong growth direction in through the back and sides. Working in one way, we'll work against it. And we're going to complete step number two with our number one guard, that is the tightening of the perimeter. Roll that ear down out of the way, and we'll complete that all the way around for the end of step two, getting ready for step three. This is step number three in the Daniel Craig James Bond Skyfall 007 haircut. And now we're coming in, we're going to cut the top. We're going to not only cut the top, but also blend into the top of our tapered perimeter. And that's all going to be done clipper over comb. Kind of unique here in that we're never going to really hold the hair in our fingers and our hands. The design and the look of that haircut is that it's almost a crew cut. It's grown out from a crew cut, and the top is just long enough to come over. If you look at Ryan's hair, Ryan's got a strong cowlick, and his hair falls to the side. It's the opposite side from the way Daniel Craig's hair falls, but it's perfect for the look. So if he looks at himself in the mirror, he'll think he's looking at James Bond when we're done. We're going to dampen his hair slightly. Sometimes we're told not to mix electricity and water, clipper cutting and water, but a little bit of moisture or dampness in the hair will help the hair to flow through the clipper as we work. We're going to go to underhand clipper over comb. Underhand clipper over comb is called underhand clipper over comb because my hair hand comes up and under the clipper with the clipper on and the clipper running. I come from the top of my taper and I come up over the top of the head. Notice as I come up over the top of the head, I'm rounding with the contour of the head. Normally, to create a taper or a flat top or a squarer look, we would roll that comb more out and we would create more of a corner in through here. But for this particular look, we're contour cutting or we're following the curve or the shape of the head. We're coming up all over the top of the head. Notice the hair will stay, still lay in nicely and we'll continue to do this leaving just that little extra length at the front 
but we're working our way up the head. And in my head, I'm singing that little song. I'm singing the repeatedly singing 90, 90, 90, 90. Every time I comb up the hair, hold it in the comb and cut it off, I'm really holding it 90 degrees to where it grows from the head or comes out of the head. You'll see we'll start to develop a nice contoured silhouette with a very smooth transitional blend into the hair below it and we'll leave him just that little bit of front length from the top to pop when we're done. So we're going to underhand clipper over comb because we're primarily working over the crest line, the occipital bone, or the widest point of the head. Anytime we cut clipper over comb under the curve of the head, we go to overhand. But when we go over the curve of the head, and this is the key technical element of this haircut, when we go over the curve of the head, we go to underhand position. Notice, had we stayed overhand, this is really awkward. My elbow's up, my shoulders are twisted, my back is jacked. I can't cut hair very comfortably this way. But by maintaining my underhand position, I'm able to beautifully come in, make length decisions, and layer out that top blended into my back and sides. I'm going to continue that process all the way around the head to complete our clipper over comb step, our step three in the 007 Skyfall haircut. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Step four is coming up next. We're still in step three of the James Bond haircut, but we wanted to also showcase how we're going to deal with that front edge. In order to maintain that little extra bit of length, that little bit of extra pop over that gives it just some of that classic British style and charm, we just want to use basic over direction. We're going to lift that up and comb it back and blend it to the hair just behind it. That'll maintain a little extra length at the front. And I'm going to come right in the corner and do the same thing here. Shift it back so it stays a little bit longer, but still contours and blends into the overall silhouette of the haircut. That's going to give you the front edge that's such a part of this Daniel Craig Skyfall kind of look. That's, we'll call it step 3B, because it's a bonus step, B for bonus. On step 3, we're ready for 4. Here we go, step 4, 4, the last step in the Daniel Craig James Bond 007 Skyfall, November 2012. This is what you guys are going to be looking for and asking for haircut. Of course, it's lining and edging. We switch to our trimmer, we switch to our finishing comb, we'll set up our sideburn, we'll clean up to it. We'll clean around the ear area, fold the ear down out of the way. We want to achieve a crisp, clean line and perimeter in through the ear area. Through the rear quarter panel, we will tap, 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 and clean. And we'll clean up the neckline as well. And then we'll repeat the process on the opposite side. We're going to get a good, crisp, clean finish through here without blocking a heavy line along the baseline. A little bit of light trimmer over comb if necessary to detail up that bottom edge. We'll repeat the process on the opposite side. Don't forget details as well. Trimming eyebrows, trimming ears, nose hair if necessary. All the little things that make up the fine details of great men's haircutting. We're going to put some product in to finish him off and our haircut will be complete. Thanks for watching. And here's the finish. We tapered the back and sides, we layered the top, blended together, we left a little bit of length at the front, we styled and finished it with a very small amount of a styling wax just to give it that look. Through the holiday season and going forward, people are going to come to you, guys are going to come to you and say, hey, make me look like James Bond, make me look like Daniel Craig, make me look like 007. They might even say, make me look like Ryan if they saw this video. But this is the look we're after. He had perfect hair for it. We appreciate him coming in and letting us use him as the model for the haircut. He's ready to go, find a villain, and we've got something to conquer. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the videos so that you get every one we do without missing any. And remember, have a great day.